using HTTP on Android. Currently we are in section 1 and we are about to check out the second video of this section. As the platform has matured over the years, many different libraries and options have emerged for managing HTTP requests. Well this video talks about few of the popular choices in Android for handling such HTTP request. In this video, we will also address why retrofit, why not other libraries. So I would like to ask you what makes your application complete and look professional. Of course, making your application online is your first step. But after you connect your application to the world, you need to architect your application in such a way that it handles user authentication seamlessly. Run request in background thread, parse JSON to a usable class object and handle images effectively, which is another challenge for developers in the real world. Well, these operations can be labor intensive and would require a lot of code. With evolution of Android, we got a lot of HTTP helper clients to handle such network operations. HTTP URL connection is fairly standard Java class that can get our job done. Wally is another library which can get your job done with less effort. Retrofit again is another HTTP client on which our course is based upon. While looking for HTTP client, you might come across the term OKHttp. Well, it is another library that handles HTTP communication but at poorly low level. By low level, I mean that to achieve a task over HTTP request, you need to write too many lines of code. Let us assume you need to write 10 lines of code to achieve your task. But with time, we got a class called HTTP URL connection, which is built on top of OKHttp and it handles request with more abstraction. What you can achieve here with 10 lines of code, you can fairly achieve that here with only 7 lines of code. Let us assume that. But still, we were not satisfied. So we got retrofit which again sits on top of OKHttp OK client. So now it allowed developers to handle request with fairly high level abstraction. Here you can achieve the same task with just 3 to 4 lines of code. Great isn't it? Well Wally is another high level library similar to retrofit. But it has its own limitations which was solved in retrofit. Now one thing is worth to note here is that all of these libraries work asynchronously in the background thread. This way they do not use main thread and thus prevent long running operations from blocking the user interface. Now what is meant by thread and what is meant by background thread and why it is called asynchronous in nature? Well for that I have created a separate video on this topic. Kindly check that out. The link is in the description. Now moving on, let us first see the downside of HTTP URL connection class. Well, the major disadvantage of this class is that the code for this class is a bit more difficult to read and write when compared to other options. You will need to write a lot of boilerplate code. And you will need to be comfortable working with byte arrays, stream readers and whatnot. Parsing responses for this class requires again the manual process. That is, there is no inbuilt mechanism to parse JSON response. And when you use this class, you have to manually manage the background threads to perform multiple asynchronous requests. Well, these are the types of issues that high-level libraries like Wally and Retrofit seek to improve. So the Wally library improves this experience by managing abstractions over common HTTP tasks and configurations. And yes, it is true that it is a great choice for handling background threads, write concise code, perform asynchronous network operations, and it also provides useful features for caching, request, and also timeouts. But unfortunately, when compared to Retrofit, Wally has its own shortcomings. Wally does not have REST and authentication friendly features compared to Retrofit. The documentation and community support for Wally is meager when compared to Retrofit. Well, Retrofit fulfills all the needs of the developers. So let us get a sneak peek of 
what are the features of Retrofit? First, Retrofit has a huge active community that will help you to easily troubleshoot your errors. Well, this library allows you to write expressive and concise code. It helps you to manage resources very efficiently. For example, how to manage background threads effectively, manage asynchronous calls and queues. It has a built-in support to parse JSON using JSON library. Now what is meant by JSON and what is JSON? We will talk about it shortly, don't worry about it. Next, it has mechanism to handle errors effectively. Last but not the least, it has built-in user authentication support. And there are a lot of features that we will know about Retrofit while we proceed with the course. Now the question arises, how to use Retrofit? Of course, you will get your answer while you continue with the course. But before that, to use Retrofit, you must have a web server, where you should have web services. So in the next section, let us explore what is a web server and how to create RESTful web services. And thereafter, we will learn how to use Retrofit within our application. So see you in the next section. Thank you and have a nice day.